Hey, it's Bryce with Better Place. And if we're going to make our community a better place to live, we have to know how to market to people what we're trying to get them to be a part of. We do hiring events, job fairs. Maybe you've heard of a job fair, been to a job fair. But if you're going to market through Facebook, Facebook ads is one of the best ways to market to people in your community something you have going on. But if you're doing a, a, a job fair, hiring event, anything employment related, and you are doing a boosted post, you are paying to boost the post to send out to people in your community, there's a special thing you need to do. And I want to make sure you have the right tools to go from start to finish to boost a post, but also make sure you hit the right thing so Facebook accepts it and people in your community find out about your great event. Are you ready? Let's get into it. So I know I said start to finish, but the one thing I I believed you could do is have a, do a Facebook post. Now I have a special page. It's called Rome Community Job Fairs. And so I created a post about an hour ago. And what you do is once you create a post, like in this case, it has my flyer for my event. I simply click boost post on the bottom right hand side. You'll see uh, a couple of tools will come up to help you create this post uh, or boost this post. One of the new things that I've recently discovered in Facebook is a new thing that has a button. I'm simply going to take the button off. There's different things you can do with it. There's different ways you can get people to sign up for stuff. I'm going to take it off. All right, next one down, special ad category. This is the key. This is a special key. If you do not hit this, Facebook will not accept your hiring event, your boosted post for anything employment related. You must click this. This is this is good for anything, credit, employment, housing, social issues, election, elections, or politics. And then you must click exactly what it is, and it's an employment boosted post that we are making All right, with that. The next thing down you will see is your audience. Now, uh, with that, you can go in and you can customize your audience, which mine is already customized based off of previous uh, audiences I've had. But what I've done is I've taken my community and uh, I have... Uh, reached to Rome plus 15 mile, miles within Rome uh, I have targeted. So you can, again, type in locations and it'll show you a little bit of the reach of what you're looking to do with your um, your uh, your boosted post or where you're trying to reach people. And you can, you can put those exact things in there. You can drop a pin, whatever you want to do to market to your specific demographic of people. In my case, I click all because all people are looking for work or they might know someone looking for work. But if you're doing uh, something that's more specific, you can click in either men, women, their ages as well uh, from that. So again, with mine, it's my city, Rome, and within 15 miles of Rome is my audience. So that's what I, I typically do. And so again, it also says on here, audience selection options that are unavailable for limited special ad category have been adjusted. So it's a little bit different. If you're doing an ad for, uh, say, just maybe an Easter egg event, or you're doing uh, an ad for a, a car show, you might have a different options for your audience that may, uh, may come up um, and you could target a little bit differently. But in this case, I showed you how to do it. The next thing is your duration. So my job fair is coming up uh, on April 6th coming soon so i'm gonna i'm gonna bump this up and i'm gonna run this i'm gonna run this until um not sure why it's bouncing on me but hey if it does the same thing to you just run with it i'm gonna run mine to the middle of march just to see how well it does and i'm actually gonna bump mine up to oh three hundred dollars so it, it sees here uh the reach that it might have with that, it also is going to get placed on Facebook and Instagram, um, and it has my credit card information in there. Over on the right-hand side, it again shows you the reach, your results, and then this is what the post the sponsored ad will look like. This is especially what it'll look like on a phone uh, for individuals. And simply, once you're done, you click Boost Post Now. So it submits your ad so with that, then you can wait 24 hours-ish uh, for a response from Facebook, uh, and you can see there. Now, there's a button down here that says go to Ad Center. This is where you can uh, look at um, how the ad is running, um, how things are going with it, and you can keep an eye on it from there. But I want to show you one more. 
real quick because I want to do it. I also have an event I am running. I'm running a, an event. Um, this is this is for the hiring event, but this is an actual Facebook event. So I'm gonna boost the event. The last thing I just boosted was a post. Now I'm boosting an event that I want to run as well. So you can see in here how the ad comes up a little bit, looking a little bit differently. But again, I got to make sure I hit my special ad category. I got to make sure I hit my employment on there as well. With this, I'm going to run a little bit less. I'm actually going to just run it for $98 all the way up until the front the day before. So a little bit simpler, but I use my, my event page. I'll update in there. I'll do lives in there. And I'll share to other places. It's just a great another way to draw engagement, but also what the event does, it'll remind people that it's coming up and whatnot as well. So make sure when you are running a ad that has to do with employment of any type, hiring events, you have to click the special ad category to make sure it gets accepted. The first couple of times I've ever did it, I didn't click that because I didn't think it fit that and they didn't get accepted, but make sure you do that to get make sure they get done. So both of these are in review and hopefully in 24 hours or less, they'll be running full steam and we will be promoting our one day hiring event coming up on April 6th of 2023.